RealAgriculture.com's coverage of Agritechnica 2023 in Hanover, Germany is brought to you by Optimum Gly, a new canola trait technology from Corteva AgriScience. Sean Haney here from Real Agriculture reporting from uh, Hanover, Germany. We're at Agritechnica 2023. Realagriculture.com's coverage of Agritechnica here in Germany is brought to you by Corteva AgriScience and Optimum Gly, their new canola trait technology. Well, it's the end of day one here at Agritechnica, and it has been super, super busy. This is my fourth Agritechnica that I've been to, and I'll tell you what, it is packed here on the first day, which is supposed to be preview day, and there's a lot of people here to preview what is in store for farmers when it comes to innovation and technology. One of the early observations I would say that we have is, as we've seen more and more tractors move towards being autonomous, you know, no driver or potentially a driver in the seat, but more there as a supervisor than necessarily a traditional operator, we're seeing a lot more of intelligence being pushed onto the implement. And you know, when we talk to companies like Vatterstad behind me, uh, Kloss as well, you know, some of the things that they told us is, you know, if, if you're not going to necessarily have an operator in that seat in the future, that operator also not only drove the tractor, but also observed what was happening around that tractor. Think about from a, a cultivator standpoint, lifting the cultivator up, putting the cultivator down based on the terrain and some of the, the topography and things around the unit as it passed through the field. If that driver's not there, how does the tractor know? So we have to put intelligence onto the implement to communicate from the implement to the tractor and, and vice versa. That really, really has been one of the focuses we've heard at a number of these different booths. And it, it really, really does make sense. The other thing I would say is uh, Jay Strovey and I, our production manager from Real Agriculture, one of the things that we noticed Comparing Agritechnica today in 2023, going back to 2019, which was the last show, a little bit more of a reality check. And what I mean by that is in 2019, it, there was a lot of like, here is the future tractor uh, that your farmers can expect around the world. It's fully electric, fully electric. You know, get rid of the diesel motor. We, we're really hearing a lot of that. We're not hearing that this year. We're seeing a lot more alternative fuels, things like ethanol powered tractors. We're also seeing uh, this, is, this tractor is diesel powered, but there's things like electric drives or there's electric drives on the implement as well, which really is, I think, a little bit more back to reality and much more closer to commercialization than say where we, things we were talking about back in 2019. We're going to try to have more reports throughout the week here from Hanover, Germany for Agritechnica 23. It's, uh, there's a lot of innovation, a lot of technology. Uh, make sure you go to realagriculture.com, check out all of our coverage. It also will be on our YouTube channel. On behalf of Real Agriculture, I'm Sean Haney signing out.